some thunderstorms right now, but thankfully nothing severe. We are seeing some flooding concerns in Clay County, Arkansas and Dunkling County, Missouri. Flash flood warnings in effect until midnight. Now I have not had any major reports of flooding. I keep checking that with the weather service and emergency managers. The big story right now, lots and lots of lightning with these storms as they move through the area, but this line is rapidly moving off to the east. A solid line of wind. Notice there's no kinks in this line, so we're not concerned with tornadoes. Just a straight line of red to green. That tells us a very strong gust front. 40 mile per hour winds possible in Murray, Kentucky as we head over the next. That kind of system that's headed our way tomorrow is why we've issued that first alert action day. Now a new flash flood warning has just been issued for Pemiscott County and in Lake and Obion County, northwestern Tennessee. Again, I'm still checking with emergency managers. Uh, I have not seen any flooding reports in our area. There's been tremendous flooding reports in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Flash flood emergency, lots of problems going on there. But uh, if you have any uh, flooding concerns, send them over to my Facebook page so I can get the message out to the Weather Service, let them know what's going on in your area. We are tracking lots of lightning, but notice it's not quite as much with this line moving towards Murray. It has weakened. This is now the main line of storms that is moving out of the heartland. We're still seeing that very strong gust front, but it is clean. Look at that straight line. No worries about tornadoes with this as it moves through the area overnight tonight. Let's take a look. Here comes the future cast, and this is going to be one of the updated versions that we have here. We're going to be seeing the possibility of some thunderstorms developing tomorrow afternoon. And as we head towards the afternoon hours, especially after the lunch hour, any one of these storms that develops could produce very large hail. Again, up to the size of baseballs is not out of the question. More likely golf ball size hail, but there are some indications that some of those hailstones could be rather large. And of course, we could be watching for the possibility of isolated tornadoes as well. And this is what bothers me. This just isolated nature of cells along the front. Notice the whole heartland here at four o'clock in the afternoon. You look at it, most of it's dry. 90% of it not being impacted by severe weather, but any one of these storms that develops would more than likely be severe, producing large hail, gusty winds, and maybe an isolated tornado. And it's because of that that we have issued the first alert action day because of the elevated risk of severe weather across most of southern Illinois, western Kentucky, northwestern Tennessee, and the eastern parts of southeast Missouri. Our western counties still have a slight risk, but the tornado threat's not that great here. The greatest threat of tornadoes in this orange shaded area, the greatest threat of large hail in this orange shaded area as well, and this is an elevated significant threat, meaning there's a threat for two inch diameter hail, almost the size of a baseball, and EF2 or stronger tornadoes like we saw out to our west it looks like tonight. We could be dealing with that tomorrow afternoon. Not a time to panic. Just stay with us by Diana there along I-24. And this storm, thankfully, watch it, purple, now just red. It's decreasing in intensity pretty quickly now. So still the possibility of some pea sized hail as it falls out here across eastern Mississippi County, just to the southeast of East Prairie. Another storm developing near Tiptonville is going to go between Tiptonville and New Madrid and then kind of follow the same path that this storm did. So if you just saw some small hail, you may be about to see some more, unfortunately. And uh, as we head throughout the evening hours, take a look. Lots of heavy rain possible with some lightning and thunder, but the overall severe weather threat tonight is limited. Let's take a look though. Tomorrow as we zoom in, get a little closer, we're watching a couple of thunderstorms possible during the late morning, early afternoon hours, and then we're going to be tracking the cold front and look at what Futurecast does. And if you've been watching me these past couple of years, I tell you, anytime I see broken storms, not a line, this is worse. Now don't look at the exact location of the storm. Just be aware there'll be a couple of isolated storms and it's this type of storm that will be able to produce very large hail and yes, even